A former Deputy Finance Minister, Mona Kote, has described as overly ambitious government's revenue target of 67.1 billion cities for 2020. The Finance Minister in the budget statement said the government is aiming at increasing the tax to GDP ratio from 13% to 20% in 2020. This is after the government's revenue target for July 2019 fell short by 5 billion Ghana cities. Industry players have touted the 2020 budget as a promising one. Although the government has missed its revenue targets over the years, it is still hopeful that it can generate some 67.1 billion CDs in revenue in 2020. The finance minister, Ken Oforiata, described this target as part of the radical policy and institutional reforms towards raising the tax to GDP ratio over the medium term. But a research fellow with the Institute for Fiscal Studies, Dr. Edu Ousu Sakodie, described as overly ambitious government's revenue targets for 2020. We need to, you know, stop the over concentration on the production of oil and gas and then move on to the agri sector and the manufacturing sector. I want to see the 1D, 1F intensified. Uh, the manufacturing is a subsector of the industrial sector. So I want to see more uh, done in that sector because these are the sectors that can create the needed jobs. You can see that you have had, you have doubled economic GDP growth rate, but still there's little to show in terms of job creation. That is because the areas that are feeding the job creation are in the extractive sectors and not many jobs can be created from this. Development economist Felix Larry Silfi described the budget as a good one as government was realistic with figures. The problem I have is that with all this growth that we have experienced, these figures that have been churned out, if you go out there you and then do just a random selection of ordinary Ghanaians and talk to them, it will, it will, you will see that the complaint is that they didn't feel it in their lives. And for me, development is not complete until it is seen in the lives of people. Dean of the School of Graduate Studies at the University of Professional Studies Accra, Dr. John Kweku Mensa Mauto, however, cautioned government against budget overruns, as that is mostly the case in electioneering years. The introduction of the, that is the 1D1F, if we have some companies that will really produce things that will reduce our importation, automatically our CD will surely perform. It will be stabilized. But you cannot trust a politician during the electionary year. <laughs> In fact, we don't have any test case. They've all failed when it comes to um, expenditure during elections. On his part, development economist Dr. George Donfe entreated government to ensure the production of more local food in a bid to stabilize the city. In as much as government is putting pressure on the banks to reduce you know, lending rate, to reflect the decreases in the policy rate, government must also uh, work uh, hard to make sure the business environment is very conducive so that the bank risk ratio will go down. And once bank risk ratio is very low, the banks will definitely uh, you know, reduce the I mean, lending rate. And when the lending rates go down, what it means is that those in businesses are going to take more loans to expand. Meanwhile, the finance minister, Ken Oferiata, seeks parliamentary approval to spend some 86 billion cities in 2020.